Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25231. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what is changed, and also what is fixed in this new Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. And of course, if you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. What I can tell you from the beginning is that this build is a smaller build from Microsoft only a few things were changed in this build so for example first of all we have a change to the spelling dictionary so that it now uses a language neutral word list and syncs across all devices that use the same Windows account and you can find this in settings then accounts then Windows backup remember my preferences and of course language preferences also now the tablet optimized taskbar which began rolling out with build 25197 is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel as is the system tray improvements that began rolling out with build 25211 that include drag and drop. So good news, we'll finally have the tablet optimized taskbar and also the new system tray with the rearrange icon system that is automatically enabled on this latest build from the dev channel. And I think also if you want to force enable the tablet taskbar on the dev channel, you can also do that using a tutorial that I've made a few days ago. And also regarding input, the cloud suggestion feature simplified Chinese IME that began rolling out with build 25,217 is now available to all insiders in the dev channel. Basically, this is all there is to it in this build. We also have some fixes regarding the system tray. When moving your mouse over the sound icon on quick settings, the tooltip will now display when spatial audio is in use, not just that it is enabled. Regarding the settings app, they remove the backplate from UWP app icons and apps, then default apps and apps for websites. They also fix the font used on the Wi Fi section of quick settings when Wi Fi was off so that it's consistent with the other text in quick settings. Also, they fixed an issue believed to be the root cause of certain network cameras unexpectedly not being added when you selected them under Bluetooth devices and cameras, and also improved the DPI awareness when launching setup.exe from a mountain ISO so that the initial logo while it's preparing should no longer be blurry in certain cases. We also have some other fixes, so for example, they fixed a rare issue where find window and find window EX might return an unexpected window. Also, they fixed an issue where sometimes you wouldn't be able to use Fido to unlock your PC if it was connected to an external display with the laptop lid closed and also they fixed an issue which sometimes led to crashes in certain apps like Paint and Windows Terminal when attempting to display a tooltip. Of course in this build we also have a list of known issues but you can check that list in the article below in the video's description the first link. This is all there is to it in this build. We have some exciting news that the tablet optimized taskbar and also the new system tray is available for everyone in the dev channel but other than that we have a few fixes and that's it for this build. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.